And for the moment, we are turning to Pakistan. It has received a new warning. It's not from the IMF or the World Bank or the FATF for that matter. This warning has come from the Taliban. The same Taliban that Pakistan trains fighters for. The same Taliban Pakistan provides safe haven to. And the same Taliban that Pakistan said had mended its ways. And guess what it's telling Islamabad now? The exact same, same thing. Mend your ways. This is Mullah Mohammad Yaqub, the acting defense minister of Afghanistan. He has warned Pakistan that his country will not tolerate invasions from its neighbor. What sort of invasions? Airstrikes by Pakistan security forces. Let me explain this. On the, 15th, on the 16th of April, reports emerged that Pakistan's air force had raided parts of eastern Afghanistan. Why? Apparently, to strike camps of the Tehreek e Taliban, an offshoot of the Afghan Taliban that functions primarily in Pakistan but has camps located on either sides of the Durand Line. And this is where the strikes unfolded the Kunar and Khost provinces of Afghanistan. Islamabad said the strikes targeted TTP terrorists. Afghanistan said they targeted innocent civilians. It claims that 41 people were killed in the strikes, mainly women and children. Zabiullah Mujahid, the Taliban spokesperson, had said at that time that the airstrikes were, and I'm quoting, a cruelty that would pave way for enmity between Afghanistan and Pakistan. Islamabad should know that if a war starts, it will not be in the interest of any side. This was last week. This week, another warning has been issued, this time by the country's acting defense minister. He has said, and I'm quoting, we are facing problems and challenges from both the world and our neighbors. The clear example is the invasion by them in our territory. We cannot tolerate the invasion. We have tolerated the attack. We tolerated that because of national interests. Next time, we might not tolerate it. So the Taliban has made itself clear. It has said what it wanted to. The question is, how is Pakistan perceiving this? Has it responded to the warning? Yes, it has. But its response raises more questions than answers. Pakistan's foreign office spokesperson has said, I'm quoting, Pakistan and Afghanistan are brotherly countries. The governments and people of both countries regard terrorism as a serious threat. Therefore, it is important that our two countries engage in a meaningful manner in taking actions against terror groups on their soil. In other words, what Islamabad is saying is that the strikes will not stop, not until terror is wiped out on both sides. Now here's the thing, a terror state is quarreling with the terror regime over the actions of a terror outfit. They both helped feed. It could not get more bizarre than this. And what's more is that this is not the only point of friction between the two. For months now, they have been arguing over the Durand Line, this 2,700-kilometer-long border which separates Afghanistan and Pakistan. This border was drawn by the British, but it was rejected by the Afghans, primarily because it divided Pashtun communities. A historical headache that has resurfaced since the Taliban came to power. The Taliban have refused to endorse the Durand Line. They say there should be no borders among Muslims, especially not among the Pashtun community, which comprises Taliban's ranks. In December 2021, Pakistani forces tried to demarcate the border. They installed barbed wire fence along the Nangahar province. The Taliban responded by tearing the fence down. And the same month, another clash was reported, this time in the southeastern Nimroz province. Pakistan tried to install barbed wire fences on the border. The Taliban retaliated by removing the fences. Pakistan says it is fencing the borders to stop the infiltration of terrorists. In 2021, it reported at least 294 terror attacks on its soil. These attacks killed at least 186 civilians and 192 troops of Pakistan's security forces. This was a 56% increase in terror attacks as compared to the previous year. Most of these attacks were attributed to the TTP, which reports say has been emboldened by Taliban's takeover in, in Afghanistan. The withdrawal of U.S. troops has helped it even further. The TTP can now operate more freely without the fear of U.S. airstrikes.
Pakistan is trying to put an end to this. It's trying to fence its borders and strike TTP scams, but the Taliban is against both. It considers Pakistan's actions a violation of its sovereignty. This is something that security experts had long predicted. They had published studies on how differences will soon emerge between the Taliban and the Pakistan and Pakistan. From the looks of it, the situation has gone way ahead of mere differences. It has taken the form of hostility. And what this basically means is that if Pakistan presses the Taliban's wrong nerve again, it will not hesitate in launching a strong retaliation. This story is still developing and we will be keeping a track. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.